Why is it important to do first? What does it do for us? It is the fountain of youth, period. It's the thing that keeps you invested in life, keeps your energy up, keeps your mind sharp, keeps the smile on your face, and it keeps the light behind your eyes. So juice. why is it so hard for us to do? Because we are fighting against that big sucking magnet called comfortable routine. We all know how secure and delicious and easy it is to fall into a comfortable routine and important. And as long as that is secure and satisfying, stay there. Do not change a hair. But eventually, it will be secure, familiar, safe, even if it's unhappy, it's familiar and safe, but it will stop being satisfying. Only the new, the fresh, the stimulating brings that satisfaction level back, so you have to push yourself to get there. How do you do that? First, you got to know what you're pushing through. I'm here. I'm in that comfort zone. Over there is that thing I think might be interesting, a place I'd like to go, something I'd like to learn, just anything I'm not doing every single day. Just a different television show, changing the channel. In between the two, even if you can't see it, is an invisible electric fence of anxiety. So you know you're pushing through that anxiety. And you do that with a schedule, a set of action steps, and every single thing you can do to get yourself to take that action. So the schedule might be a list of firsts I'd like to try. Could be small. It doesn't have to be any huge thing. Drive down a different street. Make the phone call you've been meaning to make. Open up a book you don't usually read. Pick up a newspaper you don't get could be huge. Get on the airplane and go someplace you've never been. doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be, I put it on my list, then I put my 27 steps that I have to take, and then I scheduled when I'm going to take that first step. I'm calling the knitting class. I saw the sign. I wrote their phone number down, and I will be dialing at 10.15 tomorrow because my boss is in the other room taking her coffee break, and at 10.15, all I have to get the energy to do, and this is the secret, all this stuff about it's hard and it's anxious, I just have to dial. At 10.15, structure, when will I do it? Do I have the tools to do it? Can I dial? I dial. The person answers the phone. I'm going to say, tell me about your knitting class and sign me up. Schedule, structure is what gets you to do these fresh new things. Is that what's working for you in the blog? Yeah, and I, I think I'm also realizing as I do more first, I get more comfortable with being a little uncomfortable. Right, right. You make a path through the electric fence. How do I see myself? I see myself as old, tired, <laughs> boring. I, I'm talking to all the same people doing all the same things. I don't want to right. see myself like that anymore. You see yourself as someone who does new things, so you're seeking them. I see myself as a person that goes and signs up for classes, so I'm always looking for a new class. I see myself as a person who's a little bit athletic, so I sign up to rollerblade. How do I start to see myself that way? By doing. I am not the sort of person that rollerblades, I don't see it at all, but I dialed. Right. right. Now, even though I don't see myself, I drove to the rollerblade place and I strapped them on. Oh my God, I'm rollerblading. Does it help to have a friend who's going to do this with you or, or asking people to push you or? You know, it always helps in life if somebody else will do the hard part. <laughs> I'm totally in favor <laughs> of having somebody base, what, you're married to the kind of person who says, come on, we've never been to Machu Picchu and I earned the money to go, I did the schedule, and I right. did your packing. That would be heaven. <laughs> and a best friend who says, we are both taking the power plate, I signed us up, that's wonderful. Okay. But you can't rely on it. Mm -hmm. Of course, a, another person's energy is helpful. It's fabulous. But you have it inside you. You only need the energy to take the first step. I always tell my patients, you're pushing the rock up the hill. I want to, I mean to, I want to. You get it up the hill, you just need that one first thing. Get It's on your schedule. 
the rock will roll downhill and well, you will well, land someplace. If I do these new things mm -hmm. or I quit my job or I write the book or I, I might fail. Yeah. You know? I, it, might, it might not work out at all. It the, might be terrible. This is true. On the other hand, I am not, I mean, I'm saying, could you order tea at the coffee shop? Then we'll get to the divorce. Okay. Right. So start with small things. Yeah. And, it, and guess what? It doesn't have to work out wonderfully. The purpose of reading a book you never read is not necessarily because you're going to fall in love with the book, but you read it. The purpose of picking up the daily news if you only read the Wall Street Journal is to find out what's in there. It's to remain and, well, in some cases become a person of interest. A person to of interest. To yourself, in much less anybody else. Yes, yes, a person of interest is emotionally, physically, spiritually invested in life. And life is out there. It is not in your apartment necessarily or in your home, in just inside your family. You've explored that. It is also stretching a little. Don't worry about how far you're going to stretch. These are, these are in general, uh, low risk endeavors. We're talking, I took a cooking class. I tried cross country skiing. We're not talking, I needed to I, I hadn't done anything. I was stuck in a rut, so I quit my job, put everything in storage, <laughs> and went to France. Although I did once do that as an, in an effort to try something new. Okay. Um, How'd it work out? Oh, I'm still here to tell the story. <laughs>